Hi everybody, my name is David. Welcome to my Stormwork Sea Trails channel. Uh, it's under my Shipbuilding X channel. I like to talk about all things uh, to do with shipping, shipbuilding, digital, virtual uh, collaboration. That's my kind of topics. Um, I do work in the, in the industry. I work for a software company where I do shipbuilding CAD software and I do IoT software and I do VR and AR. But uh, this channel is about my kind of passion, which is kind of gaming, digital worlds, um, and uh, all, all VR and AR kind of things. So I'm going to start a new series of videos, which are going to be looking at Stormworks uh, ships in particular. Maybe I'll throw in the odd airplane or train. Uh, Stormworks, for those of you who don't know, is a game um, which is all about kind of search and rescue but it's also an amazing uh, building game. You can build very, very advanced voxel builds. So you've got quite small building blocks, but you've also got logic. You've got um, programmable chips um, in there. And the creators out there, far more talented th than I am, are really doing absolutely amazing things. And Stormworks has become basically a replacement for Ship Simulator for me. So I wanted to start doing videos of sea trials um, of the, the vessels that the creating the creator community build out there. Um, I don't edit my videos so because <laughs> I'm lazy. I'm kind of the epitome of, of lazy or efficient. So uh, please bear with me if there's, you know, if I say things the wrong way or if I make mistakes. Um, and, you know, if you like these videos, I, I will probably invest in editing them and making them a little bit more precise. Um, so let's get started and we're going to review this vessel uh, called the Luna Mark 1. It's a relatively new vessel from a really good builder called uh, Spider. Spider does all of these orange rescue vessels, you know, that kind of co US Coast Guard kind of livery with a white stripe. You can see here I've got all of his creations in here. Um, and Luna Mark 1, as you can see, is one of the smallest uh, fast response vessels. So I'm going to bring it in. Um, I'm going to look at it here in, in build mode, not very long, uh, but you get the general dimensions there. It's a smallish vessel. Um, it's got a nice seaworthy deep kind of hull shape there uh, with some lights on it, as you can see under, underwater there. Um, and this builder, uh, Spider, builds in a lot of logic, enough logic and systems to make it really functional and fun. Um, we can see there, what's that, four small engines in there, which is pretty interesting. Um, but he or she uh, builds in everything in a way that it's frame rate friendly, which is very important if you're going to do any kind of uh, multiplayer. So what I'm going to do in these videos, I'm going to spawn them in and I'm just going to test them and talk about them as if you were doing a real sea trial. Um, Sea trials is, is one of these things that I've always thought of as being a dream job. Um, you know, testing boats, figuring out how they handle. Um, I actually went to the Volvo Penta Sea Trials Test Center north of uh, Jotunberg in Sweden and a dream job. So in Stormworks, if you're really good, you just jump on the ship. But I'm going to jump in the water just to show you how easy it is to get on this vessel. So a nice low side. That's really important for rescue vessels and it's been designed like this all of his or her vessels all of spiders vessels have this uh, low uh, entry on the side we've got a winch here we've got rope storage so really practical working deck here uh, on the back um, i think it's designed so you can store small objects on here so you can see these things are uh, effectively tie up eyes for ropes so it's the equivalent of a cleat in this uh, game or application. And uh, basically, I think you can put small bits of cargo in here and lash them on with ropes here. Uh, we've got the winch in the back. We've got a nice uh, center line towing eye there, which is going to be important to get a nice uh, stable tow directly behind. You've also got left and right ones if you want to do a, a kind of bridle arrangement. Uh, it's all possible within this game. These are flare launchers, um, so either side, if you need to light up the area primarily as a rescue service, 
and you can see here more rope anchors for us to tie this vessel up. Um, up the front here, deck light. I guess this is a fire hydrant here. So, yeah, so we can do firefighting by equipping this hole. So let's just have a look at that. Um, left mouse button. Where does that go? Okay. This might go into the fuel. I'm not too sure. But this is the mechanism in Stormworks. So we've got nice physics on our, our rope here. Uh, sorry, this is a hose. And I, if I turned on the pumps here, um, I can actually squirt whatever's in that tank. Um, so, yep, yeah, just need to roll off it and it comes off. We've got a couple of sensors here for weather while humidity. Rain sensor. So this will help us give a weather forecast in the bridge, I assume. And then a nice uh, cleat or rope anchor up the front. Um, we've got a little hatch here, which is access into the cabin at the front, which I'll show you from inside. Handles here, which you can actually grab onto. Um, yeah, the hand doesn't go on it, but basically if you're in waves, that will stop you from falling off. And then um, all of Spider's creations, or the smaller ones, have this kind of arrangement with a, a deck house or wheelhouse. Uh, where you have to open the door like that. They used to be, yeah, you used to have to hold them. Uh, yellow line just indicating where you shouldn't put your cargo. And we'll close it because that low aft deck there, that low deck at the back, um, could actually allow waves and, and water to run in here. So this is another unique fe feature. Um, all of Spider's creations and the small ones have this grill or grating on the on the deck, on the uh, on the floor. Uh, well, it lets the water run down and then a pump automatically pumps out the bilges, which is just really cool. Um, so totally packed, full of equipment here. Thermal clothing for, what's that, six people. Um, so if you rescue people from cold waters, you can pack them up in warm clothes, potentially. Deep sea diving equipment, scuba diving equipment, uh, flare gun. These are all what you call hand holdable things in Stormworks. So really, really good functionality. Fire extinguisher, welding torch, underwater welding, and another hose. So all the kind of things you need to repair vessels, for example, or repair your own vessel and more diving gear. And you can sit down on these seats like that. This is where you can actually put the people who you rescue, uh, the characters in the game. And then this is kind of new. So there was a, a the Bobcat, I believe it was, was the smaller version of this um, vessel. And this version is he's managed to get, uh, I should just say, the spider, spider's managed to get a lot more space out of this one. So you've actually got a very kind of realistic forward cabin down here. These are two medical beds where you actually heal um, if you stay in them for a long time. So you put your, your patients in there, anybody who's got critical kind of health. We've got first aid kit in here. And again, that access hash, hatch. Uh, up to the foredeck, which of course you wouldn't open if you're, uh, if you're in any kind of trouble there. So I'm a bit stuck. Um, there we go. Um, so Stormworks here, all of this has been built with little blocks called voxels. All this piping, these kind of things are modular. But it's been fully custom designed by this creator. And it's, it's absolutely an amazing thing. Um, we've got two seats here, technician seat and a captain. So let's get the technicians first, see what we can turn on and go and take this vessel out for a sea trial. Uh, so <clears throat> uh, I think we need to turn the vessel on first of all. So I'm going to jump out and go into the driver's seat. And again, common to Spider's creation, we've got this engine switch, which actually does a whole load of logic in the background, uh, turns on batteries, um, uh, all sorts of scripts running here to do these uh, really smart displays here. It's Lua scripts, I believe. But that one little switch there is really connected to a lot of logic in the background. And this is something very special about Stormworks that makes it much more like a real ship simulator. So a real ship is going to have some logic um, these days, a modern ship, you know, when you press buttons on the bridge, it's going to actually do certain things. So at the very least, this is, you know, turning on a water pump, a fuel pump, uh, the engine starter, 
and all this kind of stuff on this one switch and as you can see here it's turned on all the instruments as well. Uh, another unique thing about Stormworks is that Stormworks has got all of this logic behind the systems here so you can see here um, we've also got instruments so there's an engine running which you can hear. I'm actually just going to turn down that noise for this video so you'll hear that a little bit more quietly now and um, that engine running is sending out these signals so like the the power I don't know if this is battery yeah I guess this is this is the power which those two generators are creating um, sorry I'm gonna do that again um, we can see here the radars come on I'm not too sure what's supposed to appear in this screen I was just looking for something there but it doesn't seem to be anything obvious so oh, you can see there I've got a mission on the right hand side rescue five casualties in the ocean to a hospital well we should be able to do that but I'll, I'll make that the goal of this sea trial uh, we've got a radio up here we've got all of our engine dials up here temperatures and RPMs we've got all of our lights up here so there's a kind of common pattern to the layout of these vessels foghorn which you can hear there um anchor system uh so it's a pretty much a fully functional uh mini vessel here and this is why i think stormworks is, is kind of the next ship simulator so typically what we do here is we use the keys you can see there on the bottom left hand side we've got um The keys that I've used so I'm just hitting W and you can see here that we are already going it's got water jet propulsion by the looks of it under the water you can see these two kind of clamshells here um, it, spiders previous creations had a system where you used a clutch and a reverse it was a little bit more clunky but actually worked very well um, so this is a real improvement this vessel that I just press W and, and she gets going as you can see there so we've got a big anchor off the front dragging in the water the physics in Stormworks is not super super realistic so you can see the boat sits actually quite low in the water there but as we speed up uh, there is a, a planing effect I'm not too sure if this is simulated with fins or if this is actually boat physics so you can see there she's up on effectively on the plane um, if I go back inside we can see here we're doing a very nice 45 knots um, in Stormworks the vessels are typically way faster than in real life a uh, boat like this in real life would probably do 25 knots uh, maybe 30 um, and it would look a lot f more flat than this to to get a planing hull um, but in the game of Stormworks where your map is a pretty huge kind of map here if you're doing 25 knots in game speed it'll just take you forever to get to these islands so 45 knots is a good speed to actually get to places um, so let's look for these people who need rescued so up here on the north uh, west of me is the where the people to be rescued are all of the vessels um, these days in stormworks have this autopilot system where i can automatically copy and paste the x and y coordinates in there kick on my autopilot and you'll see the ship directly turns and goes towards this waypoint so your autopilot is your friend just like in real life if you're on any kind of larger vessel even a larger sailing boat these days you're sticking on the autopilot all the time just to save you from making manual corrections so she's doing 46 knots on a pretty much a flat cam fuel's going down there uh, not too quickly we can see here up here we've got a range which will it's varying because it's it's bouncing in the waves uh, between 79 225 102 so you could probably take the average there about 102 kilometers at this speed if I slow her down and you can see their throttle to 50 let's take it down to 50 you'll see this range go up so it's averaging about 174 in the middle there I'm just taking the middle range okay 
uh, this, this is a hard thing to calculate uh, with some Lewis scripts behind the scenes. Uh, but we can see there's significantly more range. 22 knots, but more of a realistic speed. And uh, she's handling really nice. So in a sea trials, the kind of things you would do are sort of turning tests. So let's take off the autopilot. I'll go exter exterior, 25 knots, see what her turning radius is. So actually not too bad. We're gonna drive her over. In real life, you'd be driving her over the, the wake which you've created here, but uh, these are the water jet bubbles that you can see here. It's not really a wake. Uh, so it's a pretty good turning circle. Uh, typical thing to do would be to slow her down to about half that speed. Try turning again. So actually the turning circle is not, it's smaller, but she's not turning quicker than when she was at a different speed. So there's, there's a bunch of logic and design that needs to go into how you get your vessel to turn in Stormworks. It's not an easy thing, um, but basically you don't want her to turn so quickly that she'll roll over um, and you want it to turn also at high speed so that the turn doesn't feel too quick. So there's a bunch of programming and logic that the, the creators put in here. And actually this is, this is really nice. This is, it's showing, this is, um, is it the ninth vessel that Spider has created in this series? And it handles really well. This is, this is what a, a, a you know, maneuverable, nimble, boat looks like in Stormworks, what you'd expect for this kind of uh, small vessel. So I'm going to stabilize her. And the nice thing about Stormworks is I can go in here and I can change the weather. So let's put 50% wind in approximately. It's coming from behind. Um, the interesting thing about Stormworks weather is that it actually, it builds waves over time as far as I know. Um, so the waves will get a bit bigger. So we're in a running sea or a following sea. And you can see there that the, the boat is handling really well. The bow is not dipping below the water. She's got enough freeboard and enough uh, height above and that, that forward part of the vessel that she's not dipping below the water. So I'm going to turn her around now. We'll do a, a side sea, see how she rolls. So very good, actually very stable. If you're inside, it's almost completely flat, even with these big waves. So there's definitely something being done to stabilize her, I think, from the side. Um, she's extremely stable from the side. And then we'll go into um, head wind and uh, head on to the waves. So this is what you wouldn't do in real life if you wanted a comfortable journey. Um, yeah, again, physics and Stormworks is, is very approximated. So you see the, the vessels jump like they weigh nothing. It's quite common for uh, game physics. Um, but she's actually handling really nice. She's got a feeling of weight. It doesn't feel too unrealistic. I have seen vessels that just fly. We'll take up to full speed. The story will be probably a bit different. So she's flying a bit more. She's turning as well. Oops. All right, we've got a little bit out of shape, so I'm going to slow her down. So maybe not full speed into waves. It, she's a little bit out of control now, or I've got her out of control. So I'm just going to slow her down 20 knots, straight into the waves. You see the speed there is going up to 39 in between jumps. So what you do in real life is obviously slow this down. Um, you, you don't want her penetrating the waves too much in real life. I think in Stormworks that there's you know a resistance built in when you hit a wave like that. You'll see the speed sort of drops off a bit. Um, but the most important thing for for Stormworks physics is 
can it make good gr you know speed over ground in waves and it clearly can so it's a good rescue boat i think if you were using it in the game you'd just go flat out right to rescue people like this and she's she's jumping all over the place but it's, it's good really good handling for a stormworks boat <clears throat> so um of course all the hatches are closed everything's sealed uh she won't sink at all in this condition what i'm going to do is just for fun because this is what stormworks is all about let's put the hurricane seas on so this is full wind um she actually surf a bit see she's surfing with this wave again the physics are have to be very much an approximation you know simulating water it's, it's a highly computationally heavy process but you can see there she handles really well following seas gonna go up to full speed again to jump around a lot um, and just like real life if you're in a small relatively light vessel in in big water it's gonna jump around all over the place um, and you'd oh, there's a dolphin <laughs> you'd slow her down to, to make comfortable headway so you can see here she's really jumping around I'm gonna turn her the crazy jump go into the waves so these what <laughs> these water jets are giving us amazing <laughs> maneuverability yeah so this is where stoneworks physics maybe just stop working uh, so I'm gonna settle her down <laughs> okay she's not gonna settle down let's try again I think I'm pretty much at idle but the, the jumps are just too big in some in some ways and and this is a game don't forget this is perfect because in reality if you were in a, a, a small light powerful vessel going into the waves you would you would just not have good sea keeping ability or, or you wouldn't make good way in the water oh, an octopus <laughs> so you would slow her right down you would maybe take her along the waves you would you would use your helm a lot in order to to get to where you wanted to so i think that was a pretty good test waves back to a more reasonable amount autopilot on 73% throttle that whole time. Okay, so we had pretty high throttle. Um, so that's what she does. Um, let's just go through the lights. We've got cabin lights. Um, we've got a infrared HUD rescue lights. I'm just going to turn everything on. Heaters there, microphone, search lights, navigation lights. And uh, the most amazing thing about Stormworks is this sort of dynamic weather and uh, kind of day and night model. So let's put a bit of rain on. And there you go, she's got her blues and twos. So rescue lights, everybody would see her coming from miles away if you're stuck. Uh, so really good little rescue boat. I'm gonna slow her right down here to sort of more realistic speed. Um, and I'm pretty sure so we're just flipping yeah here we go launch the flares what you'll see is the flares are designed to light up large area around us so that's somewhere above me and it's it's lit up the whole uh, sea around us it's, it's exactly what you would need if you're trying to find somebody on the surface it's extremely hard to find somebody in the water unless they've got you know, big life jacket on, a light and everything. If it's if it's just a dark, wetened hair with dark, wetened clothes in the water, it's it, it's almost impossible. And Stormworks does a really good job of simulating this kind of um, f difficulty of finding people at night time in in the water, and it gives you these this flare tool, which is still flashing up there. Uh, it gives you some radio transponders. And, and really good tools to help you find things. So that's the, I think it's the, the Luma Mark One, really good small res, high speed rescue vessel from Spider, uh, really good sea keeping. And this is for uh, the Stormworks uh, engine, of course, 
very good advanced systems, good range, um, good controllability, all of the systems I think you could possibly imagine to do some um, high speed, you know, uh, pick up from the water kind of rescue. It could probably do towing of small vessels when it's not too wavy. I think it's got firefighting capabilities if I figure out how to do the hose at the front. Um, Ah, it's even got trim here, which would have helped me in those rough seas. Um, but really good little vessel. I, I love Spider's Creations. And I think um, it's, a, it's a great video to get started with. A really good small vessel, as you can see there. It's got a kind of inviting interior at night time. Uh, you've got your hospital bed. Everything you need to be a good sort of single player rescue uh, player in Stormworks. So thanks to Spider for making this. I uh, hope you enjoy this video and um, look forward to your comments and I will be doing more of these videos whether you like it or not. Uh, so thanks for your attention for now and I'm going to sign off on my uh, unedited first video. Cheers for now. Bye bye.